Hi, I'm Paul Tursley and this is a demo of PT Crop Precomps. You can use this script to crop the nested precomps of things such as uh, imported Photoshop comps uh, so their dim dimensions fit their contents. Um, I originally wrote this script on request for, from screen graphics designer Mark Colloran who uh, creates these uh, complex animated user interfaces that you see in movies such as uh, Born Identity, um, Tomb Raider and The Island. Um, so Mark creates uh, these in uh, Photoshop made up of uh, lots of nested uh, layer groups and then imports them into After Effects to animate. So to install the script you want to take the script file that you download and install that in After Effects scripts script UI panels and then um, when you restart After Effects you'll be able to select the script from the window menu and it's got a dockable UI so you can drop it in the interface wherever you want um, so I've created a test file here which is a, um, a Photoshop file um, made up of lots of elements nested into um, layer groups so um, when I uh, import this into After Effects Uh, you want to use the um, Composition Retain Layer Sizes option. That's in um, CS5. The script also works in uh, CS3 and 4, and for those um, you need to, the, it's called uh, Composition Cropped Layers. Um, so with that option selected, we import the uh, comp. Now if we um, jump backwards through the pre-comps, you'll see that uh, uh, even though the elements are only taking up a small area, uh, all of the comp sizes are the same, the si size of, of the original uh, document. So um, we can use this script um, with the main comp selected, just um, hit crop pre-comps, and um, then you can see that it's cropped all of those nested comps um, so to fit the contents. So this can make it a lot easier to um, to animate things, it's a lot easier to tell layers apart because you can see the bounding boxes match the um, match the image area. Um, uh, another option we have here is uh, retain border pixels. So uh, if you were going to be animating uh, these uh, in these precomps and you wanted to keep some extra space around the edges, um, let's just undo that. And um, so we go back to our original full size, and I'll put in a value of 20 here and hit crop. And now you can see that um, rather than completely cropping it down to the um, to the dimensions of the image, it's uh, retained these extra uh, 20 pixels around the edges. So uh, this won't extend the uh, comp boundaries, it just um, prevents it from cropping um, pixels that it otherwise would. So um, another thing is uh, you don't just need to use this for uh, Photoshop files, it will work with other things as well. So. Um, let's. Uh, I've got a Illustrator file here. Now, um, for this, you want to select the composition with the uh, layer size option. Now, uh, Illustrator files won't uh, import with uh, nested uh, in nested comps, but uh, you could still, at this point, um, pre-compose your elements. So, let's um, pre-compose those two layers. And um, that and those layers. And again, let's uh, pre-compose those two layers together. And, and it also works with um, other types of layers. So let's um, add a shape layer, pre-compose that. You can see that it's pre-composed and it's still the uh, main size. Um, and let's do a um, text layer, pre-compose that. And again, it's pre-composed it, but it's uh, still the comp size. So um, at this point, back to the main comp and um, select crop. And now you can see that all of those um, nested pre-comps have been cropped to uh, fit the um, layer contents. So um, that's basically it. Um, a word of warning is uh, this will only work correctly um, if you do it before any layers have been animated, scaled or rotated. It's really supposed to be the first step 
after uh, importing your footage um, so uh, and, and won't work correctly if you've already um, animated, scaled or rotated your layers, so watch out for that. Um, but that's it for this tutorial, so I hope you find the script useful. Thanks.